Some people think that in order to find the secrets of the sea, we need to dive into the depths. What would you think if I told you that we've learned a great deal about the creatures of the sea thanks to the corpses that wash up on our shores? You would probably think that this is impossible and that some creatures only reach the beaches once every five years if anything, but the reality is very different and today we're going to prove it to you. But first, you must answer the following question. Are you willing to know the mysterious corpses of sea monsters that have reached our shores? If so, then get ready to discover something unimaginable that will make you see the sea in a totally different way. Mysterious Corpses of Sea Monsters Found on the Shore Number 4. The Devil's Fish To tell you the first story, we must travel back in time to the 19th century, just when the crew of a British steamship called Emu was sailing the waters of the South Pacific. At first, there was nothing atypical about the voyage. However, the captain decided to make a short stop at Suwaro Island. This wasn't planned, but the journey to Sydney had been long and arduous, and this would be an ideal stop before the end of the voyage. It was at this point, when they landed ashore, that they encountered an unusual phenomena. The natives of the island seemed alarmed and all ran to the other side of the shore, where a creature impossible to believe had been washed ashore. The English crew was infected by curiosity and decided to follow the natives. All those men were knowledgeable about the sea, so they wouldn't be so easily impressed by an ordinary creature. Surprisingly, when they arrived at the scene, they turned pale. What they saw was the creature nicknamed the Devil Fish, an animal that was over 30 meters long and covered with long, brownish hair. Its head was shaped like a horse and two enormous fangs protruded from its lower jaw. Its weight exceeded 70 tons and, in general, its shape was absolutely creepy. According to reports, the crew managed to take the creature's skull, as well as some of its smaller parts. However, its whereabouts are unknown. Number 3. The Prehistoric Reptile one of the most unusual creatures that landed on our shores was recorded in November 1930, when Alaskan temperatures reached unlivable lows. However, life goes on for its inhabitants, and despite the cold, men and women continue with their many tasks to survive in one of the coldest states in the world. It was precisely in the middle of that month that something unusual happened. It happened on Alaska's remote and forbidden glacier island a place where no one goes except military troops and a few groups of fishermen. On that day, fishermen spotted a strange creature off the shore of the island. They were forbidden to get close enough to assess what it was, but the image already heralded something monstrous. Just for that reason, when they returned home, they told their neighbors what they had witnessed, including a man named James MacDonald. He was an investigator who was attracted by the rumors and Given his extensive background, he managed to gain access to the area. It was on that small expedition that he encountered something completely inexplicable. Descriptions call it a prehistoric reptile whose thick snake tail reached four meters in length. Of course, this wasn't the most terrifying thing. The creature had the features of an elephant, but instead of a trunk, its square snout showed a series of sharp curved teeth. Its head was over two meters wide and the skin of the beast resembled that of a horse's back. The creature was over 10 meters long and was so similar to a prehistoric animal that MacDonald used this adjective to refer to it when he sent his report to the New York Times. According to the publications of the time, the remains of the animal were sent to the National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C. Experts there insisted that those were just the remains of a supposed whale, although the whereabouts of these mysterious bones were never seen again. Number 2. The Storm Beast Throughout history, some peoples have come to regard storms as synonymous with chaos and destruction. Rarely have they been wrong, and Egypt is a clear example of how dangerous they can be, especially when they drag the secrets of the sea to the shores. Such a thing happened in the year 1950, when a strong storm shook the Gulf of Suez and left the corpse of an absurdly large and peculiar creature on the beach. The records of the time describe it as a decomposing creature that was very similar to a whale. 
although it showed peculiarities that science has not been able to decipher to date. At first, locals came to the area to witness what was found there. The supposed whale captured the attention of those present, who couldn't identify which marine animal was capable of having mammoth tusks on the outside of its jaw. Of course, this particular fact wasn't the only unusual thing. In the report issued by the authorities a few years later, it was revealed that the alleged whale didn't have eyes or appendages, typical of a cetacean. Instead, it had elements of animals alien to its species, such as scales, tusks, and even atypical internal organs. After removing the beast from the beach and carrying out numerous analyses, the corpse was known as the Ataka Beast and has since been considered an undiscovered marine animal. Of course, there are those who continue to argue that it is, in fact, a whale, but the bones of the creature itself have shown that it belongs to something much more primitive, almost prehistoric that had never been recorded by science before. Number 1. The Montauk Monster On some occasions, science doesn't manage to be the protagonist of new discoveries, but the citizens themselves, ordinary people who go jogging along the beach and come across a creature never seen before. This happened in 2008 in New York City. According to the stories from different laboratories, that year they received a series of photographs that revealed a creature dragged by the sea to the beach. In the very clear images, there was an unknown sea monster. Officials and zoologists from the East Hampton Department of Natural Resources began to investigate, as the images showed what appeared to be a dead raccoon with numerous peculiarities that were difficult to explain. Initially, the decomposing creature showed elongated, almost ostrich-like legs and a bird-like beak from which tiny rabbit teeth emerged. The body showed signs of exposure to toxic activity, which included evident malformations on its neck, arms, and back. However, most researchers concluded that the creature was a simple raccoon that had died in the sea and the waves had returned it to land. However, the reality was very different from most citizens and cryptozoologists. According to them, it turned out to be the Montauk Monster, an unusual creature that, for some mysterious reason, was kidnapped and buried somewhere secret so that no one could discover it. The real intentions for such acts are unknown, but the theories on the social networks only increase year after year. Some photographs have managed to survive over time, although it is completely unknown if this beast is real or if the mystery behind its very existence can ever be deciphered. Of course, this isn't the first time something similar has happened. The world is full of disturbing stories and mysterious creatures that disappear almost magically once they're found. Who is behind this? Is someone trying to hide the truth of what's found in the deep sea? Will we ever know what's behind these events? If you want to know some answers to these questions, then check out the next videos and get ready to continue learning about some of these incredible creatures that have been sighted by ordinary people before they disappear without explanation.